Ian Watkins, formerly of the band Lost Profits, is currently serving a term of 29 years for child charges and was recently the victim of an assault in jail. According to a report published in the Mirror newspaper, the humiliated rock singer who is currently being imprisoned in HMP Wakefield was stabbed. A representative for the prison service stated that an investigation was being conducted by the police into an incident that took place at the prison on Saturday. They continued by saying, We are unable to comment any further while the police investigate. Watkins was sentenced to prison in December 2013 for a series of child offenses, one of which included the attempted of an infant. Dave Todd, the vice chair of the Prison Officers Association, expressed worry for the safety of both staff and inmates in light of the growing number of events to which both groups are being subjected in jails. However, he did not want to comment particularly on the assault that was committed on Watkins. Watkins was given a sentence of 29 years in jail and an additional six years on license. However, he will be available for parole after completing two-thirds of the time he is sentenced to in prison. The additional six years on license will be served concurrently. Both of his co-defendants, who were the mothers of the children he abused, were sentenced to prison terms ranging from 14 to 17 years. During the sentencing, Mr. Justice Weiss stated that the case plunged into new depths of depravity and broke new ground. Watkins admitted that he attempted to a kid under the age of 13 and a youngster, but he pled not guilty to the charge of In 2014, Watkins appealed to have the length of his sentence reduced, but the judges did not grant his request. In his 20s, he achieved worldwide success as a rock star selling millions of albums, and drawing massive audiences to his stadium shows. Lost Profits is a Welsh rock band that was formed in 1997 and has published a total of five studio albums, including one album that peaked at number one in the UK and two singles that were in the top ten. They also enjoyed some measure of achievement in the United States, as each of their second and third albums charted within the top 40 on the Billboard 200.